Instead of talking about what I did this week, which isn't much since I'm technically on vacation, let's walk through my work on the Inkscape committee and how the leadership in the Inkscape project works more generally. The Inkscape project is a member project of the Software Freedom Conservancy, often called the SFC for short. There are 5013C charity based in the USA, which manages the Inkscape legal and financial business. Everything from protecting the trademark to accepting donations and allowing us to fund things. They delegate the running of the project to a group of elected members of the Inkscape project called the Inkscape Committee. It's also known as the Inkscape Board. And I'm actually a member of the committee since 2015 and we meet regularly. Uh, but the Inkscape project likes to be a very flat organization. So while the SFC gives the committee broad responsibility over development, design and other aspects of the project, the committee actually delegates development decisions to the developer team, design team and the uh, vectors team for outreach and only really retaining the core job of uh, deciding when to spend money and working with the Software Freedom Conservancy on legal matters. Sometimes this results in new members of the community who are not entirely sure who is responsible for making a particular decision, but mostly decisions are made by the community as a whole and not by any leader or leaders of the project. And this is actually by design. Although in recent years the project has grown larger, with more people and more donations, we have found our hands-off committee policy to be a little bit insufficient. As an example of this, the Inkscape project currently has over $200,000 to spend, but is struggling to organize things to spend the money on. Usually we would spend the money on things like Hackfests. These are conferences that developers and others attend uh, in physical spaces, and the project would pay for people's travel and hotel expenses. Um, and we've been very good at uh, organizing these events. But uh, obviously with COVID, this has made things very difficult. One of the things my lovely Patreon supporters have helped me to do this year is spend more time working on the administration of the Inkscape project alongside the other committee members. And I've been pushing uh, for us to be able to grow our responsibilities more so we can handle this, you know, this project scale. The goal of the committee and also my own personal goal is to always make sure that Inkscape is using its resources to become the very best that it can be for its users and its contributors. Of course, you must be thinking at this point, hang on, Martin, you're a committee member and you on a committee which has all this money, surely you should be using some of that money instead of asking people to fund you directly. And uh, this is where things get interesting. Firstly, I believe that users should actually have the ability to fund development privately. And I think this is different from the public interest fund. The charity's goals are to develop Inkscape for the for the users for the widest possible base, right, for the public interest, but not for really any specific needs. In fact, they're not allowed to develop things specifically. But I, as an individual developer, can focus on the needs of people directly. And I think a direct link to users allows me to listen to those users' needs as well. There's also a degree of flexibility that being privately funded gives me, allows me to avoid a lot of conflicts of interest. You know, I can vote uh, in good con conscience, hopefully to spend some of this money on developing features uh, without involving myself. And that's my hope, actually, is that we can put this funding to good use. We already have talked about contracts to implement CMYK and some money to work on Mac OS X speed problems. And uh, the increase in activity is really there to show how we're trying to grow our administrative capabilities, right? So we can tackle the organizational challenges of creating grants and contracts. Uh, 
and I'm sure this must all seem very silly from the outside. Um, but I think it's important, and I and I want to keep on working on the administrative side of Inkscape to grow the community, not just the people who help out on the front end, but also all of the administrative work that you need for a pro project to keep running in, in the back end. This is a short, quick look at uh, the Inkscape project leadership. If you have any comments, I'd be very interested to hear, since this is a very different video from what, what, what I usually do. And there's a little bit of an insider knowledge about how an, a free and open source pro project can operate. Uh, thank you very much for coming on this walk with me, though, through the beautiful Burlington Vermont Park, uh, up to see the tower. Next week, it's back to doing code and seeing what other interesting things I can actually make the software do.